Hello guys, Ghost here, and today we're going to be doing another video on GTA 5 modding. So, on today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install some mods. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can install clothing. So, there are certain requirements that I'm going to have in the description of this video. I'm going to go and pull them up for you. So, first of all, you want to go to Chrome. You're going to need three things that I've shown in the last video, which is WinRAR. WinRAR allows you to access the zip files that you get from GTA5Mods.com. So once you installed WinRAR, the next thing you want to install is Open4. Now if you installed Open4, good job, you're already on your way. So once you have all of those installed, we're going to be showing you guys some things that you're going to need. So first of all, you're going to need um, script hook v. You're going to need script hook v. For this video, you're gonna need script hook v dot net. You're gonna be need script hook v dot net. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to like. Okay, hold on. Now let's script hook dot net. I'll leave this link script. You guys want to just get it from anywhere that you can. I like to just, so you're going to need script hook v and script hook v dot net. So once you grab those, you guys want to head into open four. You guys want to select the ASI manager at the top. It should just be this little checker thing. And if you saw in the last video, I showed you guys how to install open four and how to work it. So just go back to that last one. I think I was a live stream. So you just want to install all of these, okay? So once you have all of the first thing you're gonna need to grab is script hook v. You're gonna go ahead and click download, right? Also, if you guys need help finding these files, you guys don't always have open. I'm in mean open four, sorry. You want to just want to head to your Steam game and then click uh, settings. Go to your local files and hit browse. Um, head little game right here. And you can drag this GTA 5 thing out and you can make it a little shortcut. Okay, so you guys just want to install script hook. Oh, I already ins well, it doesn't really matter. So um, let me go back. Alright, so then we're gonna go ahead and install this right here. And I'm gonna show you guys how you guys what do you need to install out of all of those. Okay. So you're going to need um, script hook. You, first of all, you're going to open this main folder. Make sure you have your GTA 5 main directory on. You're going to head bin, and you're going to grab these two right here. And then you're going to drag those both into your GTA 5 directory. And I already have both of them in there. Boom. So then you guys just want to head to the script hook v.net file. Uh, drag and drop everything inside of your little file right here besides the lease license and readme you're going to drop all of those into your file okay so once you guys have dra dragged and dropped those your the next file you guys are going to need well the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and make sure that your asi manager downloaded a mods folder so once you make that you guys just want to head into your edit mode right and you're going to go to your update file and you guys want to head x64 and usually when you head here it'll put up a little red banner where you can hit um copy to mods folder <coughs> excuse me and usually on top of that you guys can hit um show in folder and then it'll take you and then it'll install everything into your folder yeah, so you guys want to head to X64 DLC packs, okay? So, as you guys see, I already have the main objective of today. So then you want to search up EMF single player, right? And easy mod folder. You guys are going to go ahead and install this. And I'm going to show you guys how you guys can install this. Okay. So once it has installed to your home screen, I just want to wait for it to finish. You're going to open it, right? 
and it's going to be a little readme file make sure you guys always read the readme files because those are very important to downloading these okay so if you follow it right it should say that you need to head to your mods update x64 dlc packs which is where we are currently at you guys can check that mods update x64 dlc packs okay then it says install the emf single player folder so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go to the main page you're going to hit mod dlc packs and drag this emf single player into there okay so the next thing it says to do is to head to this location which you can easily find by heading also I would suggest making a favorite for this position of DLC packs which I already have saved just hit add to favorites like this and then you want to hit add but I made one for the data where we're supposed to go so you can just follow this location or you can read the readme file which is mods update update rpf common data which is where we are at <clears throat> okay so make sure you guys are in edit mode and you guys want to hit dlc list and then you want to right click and then head up to edit okay so then you're going to copy the last line of your game right you're going to right click and you're going to get copy click enter head head to the end of the line your last line which for you should be the patch day 26 ng if you are modding from now time okay so then you're going to erase this the last line everything inside of these parentheses and you're going to the name of your thing which should be emf single player which you can rename copy and paste into there but I've already done this, so it will mess up my game if you do it. But then you would just hit save, and then it should be in your game. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can work this. So you're going to head back to your mods, x64 DLC packs. I'm, I'm messing up. Okay, so you guys are going to hit on single player, and you're going to hit dlc.rpf, x64, and you guys are going to head to your streamplayers.rpf. And then you guys are going to have folders... So I'm going to tell you, telling you each of these who is who. So the player one is Franklin. I have a bunch of mods already installed for Franklin. Your two, I, zero is Michael, and two is Trevor. Make sure you guys always know where you guys are putting your thing. So say you want to install clothing for Franklin. Now we're just going to look for um, some clothes for Franklin. A V-Loan shirt. We can install a V-Loan shirt. So we're going to go ahead and install this VLON show for Franklin. Okay. Okay. So once you guys installed it, you guys just want to install it to your file. It should have an install text, which you guys can go ahead and read X64 models, but we don't have to do that because we have EMF installed. So you guys just want to head in here and drag the VLON shirt inside. But first thing you want to be sure is that you have the upper four into your thing. Normally, good shirts would come with like a little texture. So as you see, I do have an upper four, which is just um, my shirts. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this and drag that into there. So once you are done with that and you dragged all of that in there, you can also put pants um hair and as far as i know like tattoos heads and everything else so once you are done with that you guys can go ahead and load up your game and we can show you that this works so i'm gonna go ahead and boot up my xbox controller and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that this works all right guys so we have officially loaded up and i'm gonna be showing you guys how this mod will work so first of all, you're going to need a trainer. You're going to need a mod menu, which you could use simple trainer or menu. I did have a tutorial the other day on how to install menu. So if you guys want to check back on that. So you guys want to head to your player wardrobe and head to your torso. So if you read it, it said that it was torso four. So here's the shirt that I had and here's the VLone shirt so 
If you guys found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment down below. Um, that's how to install EMF single player. Next video, we're going to be showing you guys how you guys can install, um, I mean, add-on, sorry, and that's a replaced vehicle. I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can do that in the next episode. And next week, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can add on script mods. So if you guys want to tune into those... Yeah, go ahead and thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon.